one of the lines that I really love in the movie is something that is really delicate, actually. It's like, uh, let the refugee in in Wakanda mm. will bring problem in. And mm -hmm. it's something that reflects our society right of now, course. not just in Europe, but yeah, also yeah. in the US. So what do you think, uh, in your opinion, Black Panther as a movie speaks about this aspect? Well, I think it's interesting, actually. I, I, I liked the fact that it touches on that, that it's a, a black African country who is saying that as well, mm -hmm. which kind of shows us it's not only a European issue, it's a world, it's a world issue. You know, mankind as a species, um, as well, we can be very, very welcoming and we can do fantastic things and we can also be very insular and scared of anything that is even vaguely the other. So I think it's nice to sort of transpose that into, a, you know, um, into Africa, into a very, very advanced um, culture they they don't want outsiders in either. Do you know what I mean? Because they think it creates problems. And so I like the di that, that that dialogue is happening in an African country, exclusively among Black Africans, and not in Italy or England. Or, do you know what I mean? It's kind of it's an interesting twist on it. I suppose it just kind of shows. I think that's that's humans. That's not just Europeans having this conversation. No, it's everybody. Yeah. I agree with everything he's just said. He couldn't put it better. I couldn't put it better. Absolutely beautifully put. Um, I, 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 I can't speak this morning. Uh, <laughs> isolationism uh, versus you know being being uh, opening your borders. I think I, I, I really think it's. Uh, but it's also, you know, it has those messages, but it's wrapped up in grand entertainment. And we're speaking to lots of people with this film. And you wouldn't be able to perhaps say that as eloquently if you were making a political film about it, because mm -hmm. nobody would go and see it. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're you're able to speak to. Uh, that's why I love these films. Um, those ideas were in the comic book back in the '60s, um, because Wakanda was always a place that was hard to get to. Um, you know, it was unknown from most people and that idea has been expanded by each writer that has taken on the comic book um, so I think it just so happens to speak to that I feel like uh, you know as far as the movie is concerned um, you know Wakandan tradition it was to uh, stay in isolation that's how they stayed safe that's how they kept you know everything they have a secret you know um, that's why they were never conquered, you know, because they kind of put this front up that they were one thing. And the perception of what Africa was, they kind of played into that, you know, to kind of mm -hmm. keep things. I think that's what's so powerful about cinema, you know. You can um, you can compare and relate them, and everybody can take something else from them and apply it to their their, their real-world situation. Ooh, I think that's a spoiler. Is that a spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. I think it's a spoiler. I mean, it's very timely, this movie. It, it touches into really important uh, components of, you know, who we are, who you are as a global citizen, how you participate across your borders, and how you con connect with the rest of the world, and uh, and how you value the rest of the world. And I think that there's um, a lot, and the, and, and the connectivity that ultimately actually exists, whether or not you want to accept it. And so I think that there's a lot of, of value in the, that sort of conversation that we need to have globally, and that um, we really need to delve into and I think it's amazing that this movie um, reflects so many current day issues in such vivid color and um, through such personal narratives. I mean, it's like it's like you as a person if you see someone in need how much are you going to compromise yourself in order to help that person you know and that's um and what, what and the debate that's raging in this film is like when you open up people come in and it's about the history of African countries, about when you open the doors, what happens when you open those doors. And it's the fact that it's grey, you know, and there's no black and white, and there's no yes or no, there's no right or wrong. It's about like, okay, what's best for Wakanda at the moment? And that's what T'Challa's kind of battling throughout the film. I think it's good to help, um, but it's conflict, it's, it's, it's political, so it's a, it's a big question. <laughs> For, for two, <laughs> two people in the morning right now. Let's write an essay. Yeah. yeah. Go to the revolution. We'll be live. Live. Live.